Hello guys, in this video we'll understand the changes made in Rust latest release 1.86.0 released on 3rd of April 2025. Change set wise I feel this release has minor changes compared to the previous release Rust 1.85.0. We did cover multiple language changes and async closures and other stuff. If you haven't checked out, should be popping somewhere on right top. Nevertheless, this change also has some interesting changes that we'll talk through this video. So make sure you stick around, watch till the end. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop in the comments or you can join me on my Discord link in description. And as always in my videos, we'll not just have an overview of what is changed, but instead we'll look at what was broken or unstable in the previous version by literally writing the code and then comparing it with the latest version to better grasp the changes. Let's start with the talk of the town trait upcasting. Now, if you have been programming Rust for some time now, you should already have been aware of trait. Now, we have a trait log here providing us a functionality of log. Whichever struct tries to implement this log trait has to provide us with some implementation of log. Let's say we have another trait, fancy log, which is a child trait to this log trait, which is now a super trait. And fancy log has another functionality, fancy log. Now, whichever struct tries to implement fancy log has also have to provide implementation for log so let's try to give certain implementation to fancy log so let's say we have a struct console logger and we implement fancy log now if we try to save this as you can see we get an error saying the trait bound console logger log is not satisfied the trait log is not implemented for console logger because it's a super trait so log should also be implemented for console logger so let's implement log as well so now we implement log and fancy log both for console logger so let's just write and there you go the error is gone now we have implemented both fancy log and log for console logger now this concept has been always there in rust like you have a super trait you have a child trait if you implement the child trait you also have to implement the super trait this has been as it is in 185.0 as well as now. Now is where the main thing is. So let's discuss. Now let's say we have a function process log, which just does logger dot log. So whatever logger we pass, as you can see, dynamic log, which is our super trait. So whatever the super trait type that we pass, we just do logger dot log. And then we have a function that goes ahead and creates the instance of uh, our fancy logger. Now let's try to use it. So let's say let logger box dynamic fancy log and we just call create fancy logger to get the uh, new instance and then we just do is process log which is the function that we have and we pass our logger. So let's pass and that's pretty much all that we do which is passing the fancy logger to this function to do the logging now here as you can see our instance is fancy log which is a child instance and to get into this method we are requiring an argument of type log so an upcasting is required here now let's write it and there you see since i'm using rust 18.5.0 on my machine as you can see right here it's the previous version so when trying to do this thing trait upcasting i get an error and it's basically not working so what is our workaround in rust 185.0 or prior versions we have to add certain manual functions where we do manual upcasting we pass the child trait and then we upcast it to super trait manually but how is it fixed in rust 186.0 let's check in rust playground we have the same code as on my local but because i can easily switch the versions here but on my local i still want to keep rust 185.0 at the end of the video we'll together update it so the same code errors in uh, you know our version of 185.0 on our local now let's try to run this on our uh, rust playground and if it executes cleanly then as you can see it's upcasting to the parent or the super trait and then we call log then it should log right here this log and processing complete so let's run this and right here as you can see we get our output so 
the upcasting works completely fine and without any issues so you don't have to you know add certain workarounds now in the latest version this is what fixed as part of trait upcasting now let's move to the next changes let's look at another interesting change to mutably index multiple elements simultaneously let's say we have a vector of numbers and we get left of and right by split it mute to and then we have let's say we want to modify but we have to you know access individually each of the index that we want to modify and then we can modify and uh, change the values so since we have a mutable reference so ultimately the original numbers are modified but as you can see it's not a very clean uh, effort as we have to you know manually access each of the index also keeping in mind that once you split the original length is changed now so you have to be aware of you know what index is valid and what index is invalid so let's just quickly try to run this and there you go we get 10 and 40 so yeah we are able to achieve our target which is to you know modify multiple values but the process is not clean so let's see what is introduced in the latest version of 186.0 to make it more clean let's look at how is it improved in the latest version so instead of split it mutable in the same code where you know we have to care about the length and indexes and whatnot here we have this new function which is get disjoint mutable we can pass the indexes as many as we want we can also pass the range as well and then it returns okay or an error if the index is out of bound or it's not disjoint it also checks this function that whatever the indexes you are passing are basically disjoint and you can simply get and modify it it is safe as you guys can see here it returns okay or an error so you don't have to you know run into any outbound or any panic issues and then we try to run the same code there you go we get 10 and 40 modified so basically here you can pass ranges as well as let's scroll down so as you can see here we are passing the same two index just like we pass in our code but here as you can see we have multiple ranges and we get you know to index all of those similarly we have a range but this is more safe as you know uh, the length and everything is already taken care for you so uh, that's another interesting change that we have in uh, rust 185.0 as you can see hash map and slices now support indexing so you can also do same for hash maps so let's look at another change which is save functions with target feature prior to this version we can only add target feature on top of unsafe functions so as you can see right here don't be bothered by this error because this is just a rust compiler going on and computing on my machine but we can still add target feature and we can run our code but let's say if i try to add this on a safe function and then we write as you can see i get an error saying target feature can only be applied on unsafe functions so we can use it now with safe functions as well and you know uh, specific functions for specific targets so that's another interesting change that we have in this latest so these are all the major changes that we just discussed and for me truly outstanding one is uh trait upcasting let me know in the comments which uh, feature you are looking for and is added in this version so right here as you can see there are some other changes as well which you guys can play around on your end and let me know in the comment as you can see there is this vector pop if as well which is another interesting change so now you don't need to check if last is there you can just use pop if so similar changes are added in this version which you guys can also check that's it for this video guys i hope you guys understand and learn something new if you do like the video share with your friends i'll catch you guys in another video with another interesting topic until then bye